ourselves out of breath at times and it's normal to get out of breath when you exert yourself as it's your body's way of coping with an increased demand for oxygen and energy. But if you have an underlying respiratory condition, you may experience breathlessness more frequently and we understand this can be a difficult symptom to manage day to day. Everyone experiences breathlessness differently and some people might also feel like they have a pounding or racing heart, they might feel faint, feel sweaty, sick or shaky. Breathlessness makes some people feel scared or anxious, frustrated, tired, embarrassed or overwhelmed. This video will hopefully give you some tips on how to try and manage your breathlessness. Research also shows us that people who experience chronic breathlessness often suffer with anxiety and or depression. So it's really important to talk to your nurse or doctor about this as there's lots of support we can help you to access. The more breathless we get, the more anxious we get and in turn our breathlessness can get worse rather than better. To help you manage your breathlessness, practicing good breathing habits when you're calm can help when you do exert yourself and suddenly become short of breath. Breathing control is a great way to tune into your body and practice taking gentle, easy breaths. It helps you breathe in the most efficient way and is great if you are starting to feel anxious. To do this, you need to get yourself in a nice comfortable position and let your shoulders and body become relaxed. Put one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy. Some people like to close their eyes as it helps them to focus. Slowly breathe in through your nose and feel your tummy move outwards towards your hand. Breathe out through your nose and feel your tummy relax back down away from your hand. Picture all the tension leaving your body as you let the air out. With every breath, try and feel more relaxed and calm and slow down your rate of breathing. Aim to make your out breath longer than your breath in. When you get breathless, changing your position can also help alleviate your breathlessness quicker. Some of these include standing and leaning forward, so try and find something to rest your arms on such as a chair, the kitchen side or the bathroom sink. A supermarket trolley is also great when you're out shopping and some people may already have a frame or walker that they use. You could also sit and lean forward with your elbows resting on your knees or lean over a table supporting your head and arms on a pillow. Laying down on your side with something supporting your head and your knees slightly bent is another option. People with a restrictive lung disease such as fibrosis may find that sitting more upright is better for them or propping themselves up higher with more pillows when they lay down. It's about finding what works best for you. When you've found the best position for you, practicing something called purse lip breathing when you're struggling will help slow your breathing rate back down. You can also use it during an activity you know is going to make you breathless to help control your breathing. To do this, relax your neck and shoulder muscles, take in a normal sized breath through your nose, we sometimes refer to this as smelling the roses, and then breathe out with your lips pursed like you're blowing out a candle. Try to exhale for around three seconds. Initially, your breaths out may be shorter than this, but aim to slow them down and regain control. Using a small handheld fan can also help during a breathless episode. A battery operated three blade fan is preferable. Hold it approximately 15 centimeters away from your face, aim the airflow towards your nose and mouth and practice your purse lip breathing technique. We get a lot of requests and questions about whether oxygen can help or improve breathlessness. Oxygen will not improve your breathlessness if you have normal oxygen levels. It is very common to experience breathlessness and for your oxygen levels to remain at a safe level. There is however a small number of people who do experience a significant drop in their oxygen levels and then a thorough assessment is necessary before oxygen is prescribed. If you smoke, getting help to quit is the best thing you can do for your lungs and overall health and the most effective way is to give up with a combination of support and medication so please get in touch with your local respiratory team, GP or pharmacy. Being overweight can also have a big impact on your breathing so eating a healthy balanced diet and working towards an ideal weight for your height is important. Again if you need support please speak to your healthcare services. Increasing activity and exercise is very effective in reducing your day-to-day -day breathlessness. We understand it's easy to avoid exercise if you feel breathless, but pulmonary rehabilitation programs are available to support you in getting back into exercising in a safe way, supported by specialist healthcare staff. When you exercise, your muscles will get stronger and use oxygen more efficiently, so you won't have to breathe as hard or fast to do your day-to-day -day activities. Some people have also found that singing helps with their breathing control and there are now singing for breathing groups popping up all around the UK. The British Lung Foundation has information on their website to help you find one local to you. 
Living with a condition that leaves you short of breath can sometimes get in the way of sex and relationships and is something people often feel embarrassed talking about. Again, the British Lung Foundation have some great tips on their website that you might have found helpful and talking to your partner openly and frankly will help you be more relaxed. Having an action plan for how to handle your breathlessness will make you feel more prepared and calmer and can help your friends and family support you more effectively. To try out some of the techniques we've talked about will really help you and find out what works best for you. If you need more support with managing your breathlessness, then please get in touch with the Community Respiratory Team as we would be happy to support you.